So what's going on guys, make sure we drag them back again yet another case video for you guys for the iPhone 12 Pro Max and also for the other iPhone 12 series as well. So right here, I have a very popular brand, this case from Spigen, so this is the Ultra Hybrid. So to be honest, among the whole line of Spigen cases, I think the Ultra Hybrid is the one to go for because not only is it slim, but it also enables you to show off the colour of your device with its uh, polycarbonate clear back. So I think it's a pretty good case overall, of course you're not going to expect auto box level of drop protection. So without further ado, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you get notified on the latest videos which I post, I have a ton of content for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, trust me, I have loads of cases which I haven't reviewed yet, but they will be coming very soon, so do stay tuned and also follow me on Instagram at directed underscore official for very good deals on Autobox and Lifeproof cases because I've collaborated with them if you've seen my previous video. So this is my way of giving back my subscribers for constantly supporting this channel and honestly giving this channel so much love. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing and look at the Spigen Ultra Hybrid for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Alright guys, so I'm back and right here I have the Spigen Ultra Hybrid for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So honestly, Spigen cases have been the so-so cases for me, especially with the, the old pricing. But uh, currently, the pricing has been uh, pretty good and I think because of the new and uh, more affordable pricing, I think Spigen cases not only becomes more accessible, but also I think it's very, very worth it for the price. So this uh, Ultra Hybrid, it's currently retailing at around 50 to 60 ringgit which i think is um moderately expensive for a regular hybrid case but uh, if you wait for a sale time like 11 11 sale or i think the upcoming 12 12 sale they do throw some really really good deals for their cases so i got mine for only 25 ringgit Believe it or not, 25 ringgit, 50% off the retail price. So actually, they did drop their price to around 50 odd ringgit. And then they offered another 50% discount on their cases, especially this case. So I got it for 25 ringgit, including shipping around uh, 29 to 30 ringgit. So I think 29 to 30 ringgit, I would rather buy this rather than some regular China brand hybrid case. So honestly, I got this at a real steal. I bet many of you did as well. So honestly, I do like Spigen's uh, tempered glass screen protectors. They are not too bad. And I do like their cases for the AirPods as well as my Galaxy Buds right here. So I think these cases, these uh, rugged armor cases, they look really good with the carbon fiber detailing. But honestly, I really do not like the rugged armor design for the iPhone because there's an Apple logo cut. I know some of you like it. But however, I do not like it because you're opening a small portion of the back glass to risk and also to smudges so honestly i do not really like the open cut out design for the apple logo i rather have it like all covered up so that's personal preference but anyways rugged armor for the airpods for earbuds in general i think it looks good but in terms of phone cases i do like the spigen ultra hybrid which i have right here so let's quickly go through the packaging i bet you have seen tons of spigen ultra hybrid case unboxings already because it's a very popular case to be honest so right here we get the Spigen logo. You can see the Spigen logo embossed right here as well. Okay, you get a look at the case. Of course, this is not the final design of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So this is actually a mock-up. Because I bet the first batch of these cases, something like the one I have right here, you can see they don't even have the iPhone 12 Pro Max batch right here. This iPhone 6.7 inch 2020, which basically means the iPhone 12 Pro Max. They have this for the iPhone 12 series in general. Let's hope the fit and finish of this case is good because to be honest, when I pre-ordered the S10 Plus and I bought the Ultra Hybrid, it was very loose at the corners. So I hope it's different for this particular unit I have right here or this particular batch. All right, so at the bottom, you can see Ultra Hybrid. Okay, the important part is to remove the film. That is something that I've actually checked out and I want to share with you guys because it's finally that Spigen did something about the film. Alright, so on the back, basically nothing right here. Side like Spigen branding, okay, very simple and easy. No certificate anymore. Alright, so this is something I want to share with you guys. Finally, 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 Spigen has decided to put pool tabs for the plastic protector they have on their Ultra Hybrid case. I mean, they should have done that much earlier because I've seen many, many reviewers, including myself, struggling to remove the film. Some even have to use knives to remove the film because it takes like what? 
20 minutes to probably remove the film because it's crazy anyways finally they decide to have pull tabs so on both sides as well the inside and outside so it's really really good okay before i put on the film let me give you a look at the case on the inside i'm not sure whether the camera is picking this up okay so i'm not sure whether the light is picking this up but there are like air pockets on each of the corners right here as well on all four corners so this gives you adequate drop protection of course this is all tested to military standard all right so let's take a look at the exterior of the case let's take a look at the bottom all right so right here you can see the cutout for the speaker the microphone and the lightning port on the right side power button very nice design it's very smooth corners as well so on the left side that's where you get your volume up and down as well as a cutout for your mute ring toggle on the back as you saw earlier it's a clear piece of plastic so it's basically tpu borders and a clear polycarbonate back piece as you can hear from the sound already all right so let's peel open this back film did it work oh yes it does oh my god that took me like what five seconds okay the next one Oh no, this one came off. But anyways, still easy because a portion of it is already out. So thanks a lot, Speedgen. That took what? Less than 10 seconds. Alright, so you can see it's a clear back. And I do like this version of the clear back because there's no haze right there. So if you're using any color of the iPhone 12 series, it will definitely shine through clearly. Alright guys, so I'm back. And I got my iPhone 12 Pro Max right here. So let's install it in the case real quick. So it's very simple. As usual, button side first. Button side first. Let me show you right here. And just snap it in as you would any other case. Alright. So as you can see, the phone is in. The fit and finish is really, really good. So this batch of ultra hybrid cases are actually pretty good. I expected it to be pretty loose at the corners. But in this case, it's not. The button works well. Very nice tactile feel. Volume buttons work as well. Let's take a look at the side. You can see the cutout for the mute and ring toggle on the bottom you can see the cutouts are spot on so that's a really really good thing the camera has a nice big cutout right here nothing is covered the front you can see i'm using a um, tempered glass screen protector from autobox so you can see it fits well with this case in fact this case is so minimalistic i think i'll be using this case as my daily for now i was using the live proof next uh, actually testing it out for the review but uh probably this will be my go-to case and this doesn't break the bank if you are looking for a case that's not too expensive like the auto box cases and also gives you the ability to show off the color of your device i think this is a pretty good case and also on top of that this case you can customize if you do have like polaroid pictures and stuff like that you can actually put it in between the case and the phone i'm not sure whether that will scratch it in the long term or cause some color transfer to the phone but it's a feature that's there and I, I know many of you would like to try something like that. I mean, buying this case, many people can buy by customizing it to your liking. That's something new. So I think it's a good touch right here. Rinky used to do that, but I don't think Rinky cases can do that anymore. So Speedgen is the only other option. So in conclusion, Ultra Hybrid is something that I would recommend if you're on a budget and you want to look for a good quality case made in Korea, not in China definitely get ultra hybrid because i still get to show off the back of my device as well as protect the phone from any damages so i think it's a good combo for sale price of 25 ringgit i mean even if you pay around 50 to 60 ringgit i think it's still pretty all right because you're getting a very well r d case so that's all for this video hope you guys like it if you did like it do hit the thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more content just like this and i'll see you guys in the next video